Hello, my name is Roman Jinjihashvili, and the topic of today's lecture is uh, how to equalize in Evans Gambit. Of course, if you play, if you are a five player, there is always chance of you facing e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4 move. And if you want to play Gioco Piano with bishop c5, you have to be prepared for Evans' gambit. Now, I think if I was black, uh, I wouldn't try to equalize with Evans' gambit. I would try to get an advantage. The line... I, I know that there have been a lot of articles, some comp very complicated variations, many different ways, but line, I would suggest, is very straightforward, very clear, easy to remember, and not too much to remember. Actually, that's why easy to remember, because it's not, not too much. So, b4, bishop takes b4, c3, bishop a5, and d4. ed, and castling. This is the key position of Evans' gambit. We all know that there are two moves here for black. dc is not one of them. Two moves are knight e7 and knight f6. There were articles about knight f6. It said knight f6 is a lot more ambitious move than knight e7. <coughs> uh, but since the topic of our lecture is how to equalize, and we don't want to go to very complicated variations, I want to stop your attention and focus on knight e7 move. This move is easily gives black at least an equality. Well, we need some precise play in next two, three moves, but that's about all you need to know. C takes d, d5, ed, and knight takes d5. Here are two moves for white. Queen b3 and bishop a3. With the correct play, the variations, they merge. One move is followed by the other. Uh, so let's start with bishop a3. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.